for the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code evolutionaries-5 for 5% off your next order. Hello, Pokemon fans. I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today we're going to be opening up some old pop series packs. I have uh, three of each set, uh, one, two, three, four, and six. A couple of them aren't in English, but they were sent to me by a good friend of mine a long time ago when I bought the Pop 5 packs, where we opened up trying to hunt for uh, Umbreon and Espeon Gold Star. If you guys ever saw that video, you know that we got a few of the other Pop Series packs from him as well that he threw in. So these are what I have left. I'm actually holding on to just a couple otherwise, but I figured today we'd go ahead and open up something different, something you don't see a lot of anymore, and uh, we'll get right into it. I would hold them up, but there's green in the packs and they disappear in my green screen. So we're gonna go, go ahead and jump right right to the pack cam here so here we go so here we go we got uh here we go here we go i don't know why i said it twice we've got series one we got three of these so this is in english we got series two which is three of these in english we have three of these which are in i believe portuguese same thing goes for series four and we also have series six in english there are two cards in each of these packs and uh, you're not guaranteed a hollow. You're not even guaranteed a rare, I don't believe. But they're fun. They were given out as prizes for Pokemon card tournaments a long time ago. Uh, the very first one was from 2004. And then the number six that I have here is from 2007. So they did it for a few years anyway. I believe they go all the way up to Pop Series 9, which has Garchomp on the front, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they stopped after that. So probably 2008, 2009. They did it for about four or five years. Let's go ahead and get started, though. First pack here is a Blaziken pack. Let's see if we can get anything out of these. I am actually collecting these Pop Series packs, and uh, I haven't gotten anything uh, completed yet, so we could do our best here to try to get that. We got ourselves a Jerkrow Insomnia. Can't be put to sleep. I love the background behind it, the nice city background. And we got a Swampert, which is actually a rare. So we do have a uncommon and a rare out of the first pack. The Portuguese ones, I'm not really too picky on what I get out of them, but there are no gold stars in any of these, so the best you can get are hollows, and um, even then, they're hard to come by. We got a Plusle and a Swellow. These are both commons, as you can see. So we got one pack that had an uncommon and a rare, and then we had two commons, so it definitely does vary. Our final pack of Pop 1, we have a Sir Skit and a Metagross, which is a rare, so that's pretty cool. All right, pop two. I'm not sure where I am as far as collecting these sets because I haven't looked at them in a while, but I know that I'm still missing at least a couple of cards from every set. We have a Love Disc, which is a common, and a Pikachu, which is also a common. So there's another one of those common packs. This is very similar to like what you see in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! with like uh, YCS stuff when you get packs, uh, when you get tournament packs that way, and also Dragon Ball Super, you get tournament packs. We've got a Cacnea, which is a common, and a multi-technical machine, number one, which is an uncommon. All right, last pack of Series 2 before we get into the Portuguese cards in Series 3 and 4. we got a Fampy, which is a common, and a Love Disc, which is also a common. So we got Duplicate Love Disc out of three packs. That's some bad luck. All right, let's try these Portuguese packs. I do have two more over there. I don't know if I'm going to open them or not. I, I guess I may as well since we're already here. Uh, we have a Ditto, which it looks like a Mr. Mime, and a Marsh Stomp, which I believe both of those are commons. Yes, they are. I'm going to put the four language stuff here so I don't mix them up when I go to sort through my binders. We've got a Combuskin here, along with an Ivysaur. So just another couple more commons out of that one. Oh man, I don't know how to pronounce this one. I don't even know what this one is. <sighs> something system, something... I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> P Pichu Brothers. Okay, so both of these are... Oh, one's a uncommon and one's a common. All right, you know what? We're just going to do it. I don't even know why I'm going to save these. A lot of people like to keep stuff sealed, but I've kept these sealed long enough. So it's time to open them up. We got a Marsh Stomp and an Eevee out of that one. Let's try... Series 4 with Deoxys on the front. These are also Portuguese. We've got a Squirtle and a Pikachu, which are both commons out of that one. We may not get any hollows out of these. It might just be rares at the best. We got a Wobbuffet and a Mudkip. The Wobbuffet is actually damaged. It's got a 
bent corner. That's unfortunate. Let's try another pack. Although, if we are going to get any hollows, I would hope that it's the English ones. Because PSA doesn't grade the um, the foreign stuff anymore. We got a Pikachu and a Squirtle again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All the common stuff. We got a Pidgey and a Mudkip. Both commons out of that one, too. So, it all comes down to our luck on these Pop Series 6 packs. Why is that backwards? What in the world? All right, we got Cherubi and Rampardos, which is a common and a rare. Those are English. That pack opened really easy. It was like it was almost op already opened. These are backwards, too. Huh. We got a Piplup, which is a common and another Rampardos rare. Well, <laughs> that's kind of bad luck when you get duplicate out of a two-card pack. That's uh, only got 17 to begin with. We got a Gibble, and our final card is a Manaphy rare. So no hollows out of any of these, but still pretty cool regardless. Um, you don't see Pop Series packs very often, so I figured, you know what? I think it's time to open these up. It's summertime. We want to give you guys something different. And uh, not a whole lot of new stuff coming out, really. You know, we've got uh, Celestial Storm that's, well, at the time of recording, right around the corner. We had a box that came out, uh, the Nature's, G uh, Nature's GX box. But other than that, not really a whole lot of new stuff, so... I'd like to throw something different at you every now and then, but that is all I have for Pop Packs. I am all out. I don't even have any in my collection anymore, so that's going to do it for this video and all my Pop Packs, unless I find more in the future somehow. So, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, and have a great day.